Well, I've been working with glass for the last probably 28 years. I was actually a teacher in the past life and then <laughs> I found something that I really loved. And glass is one of those things that um, it's so multifaceted that, you know, I'm constantly drawn to the um, allure of actually finding something new to do with it. You never ever really completely know what you're going to get, especially with casting, which is what I'm doing for these awards. So the process of making um, a cast glass sculpture is that you start with the clay model. So I make the, the actual finished product that I want to come out out of clay first. I then pour a plaster mould all over the top of that and then I dig the clay out. So you end up with a negative of the original thing that you just made. And I load all the glass you know, into that plaster mould. The kiln does its magic and melts it all together. And after about three or four or five days in the kiln, the um, plaster comes out and you break the plaster away from that and then you're left with your positive again. And then you just start to polish it up and then you have your piece. So the design inspiration is basically to represent um, the different colours that we have in Australia. We've got an amazing diversity here and I think that the red colour represents the outback. The back was obviously our coastline and then where those two colours combine in the glass they form a really nice green and that sort of is maybe to represent so where the mountains and the forests meet. When they selected me for this to do these awards, I was completely overwhelmed. I never ever considered that it would be me that they would choose. It's such an honour to be able to do something like this for you know, amazing Australians and it means a lot and I think I will feel very proud on the day and you know, it's great to be Australian and I think it will be my way of sort of contributing I suppose.